At this point, see, I think the NLC, the Nigerian Labour Congress, should be dissolved. There's no use. There's no use at all. I think that organization should just be dis they should just disband them. Everybody go home, go and look for a job, another thing to do. Anyway, let me explain. Now, before now, you know the job of the Nigerian Labour Congress. They always stand up for the workers of Nigeria, at least for the masses. When the government take any decision that affects the working condition of Nigerians, they come out to defend them. They are men, you know, to defend the Nigerian workers. That's why they call it the Nigerian Labour Congress. They're supposed to defend the labor, the laborers or the workforce of Nigeria. That's their job. But remember the time of Adams or Shomile. Let us not even go too far. Remember during the time of Jonathan, they were the one who almost shut down, when I say almost, they shut down the country. They forced Jonathan to revert the decision he would have taken, which is this subsidy they removed now, that Jonathan would have removed that time, that shut down the whole country, that made all the old Jota protests and everything. Nigerian Labour Congress was involved there. But now, let me tell you, let's come back to the present day. Remember when the Nigerian Labour Congress had an agreement with the president of Nigeria, Bola Hamed Tinubu, that they would agree to collect 70,000 Naira minimum wage, but the president will not, or the federal government will not increase fuel price. What, that what was the agreement. The but since they had that agreement, fuel price has been increased two times. Now it's naira. Now is now now is one thousand. And we're saying, if fair price was moved twice within two months, and the minimum wage has not been implemented just yet, or seventy thousand naira, does it not make nonsense of the new minimum wage that is yet to be implemented? And then, what happened to the agreement between you and government saying, no, we are not going to implement minimum uh, uh, increase fair price if you agree to seventy thousand naira? I'll, I'll take just one leg of your first question. You know, the increase in pump price of petroleum products twice, probably in two months. And the implication on the on the Democrat. workers. Because when you talk about seventy thousand minimum wage, we are talking of the workers. Yeah. And which if you like, you can give them a percentage of Nigerians. And then the increase has nothing to do with workers specific it has to do with the whole country now if i respond on what we are going to do now as a labor movement as a labor movement is that would that translate to what nigerians will do to respond to this because we are trying to you know to three times right now fuel is 1200 naira to 1005 depending on the location in nigeria and the nlc are sitting down doing nothing doing nothing relax by now the nlc should be shutting down some major parastatas in nigeria they should be shutting down some locations they should be protesting or maybe even if now small small protests even if now word of mouth even if they're releasing statements even if it's just small strike just show concern but guess what nothing is coming from those people so tell me what is the use of nlc in nigeria nigeria labor congress what is their job that is the question i'm asking like, what is their job what are they doing i think at this moment the nlc president should step down Yes, it should step down. Let somebody who has the balls should go up and do that. Or maybe... Prove <sighs> but I say, all the departments in Nigeria are now the arms of APC. Anyway, maybe I might be wrong. Maybe I might be wrong. Tell me what you think in the comment section. But before you do that, it's also important we do not forget to... Subscribe to this channel for more updates like this. Don't forget to enjoy your weekend. Follow us for more. Share this video. Like. Comment your opinion. Thank you very much. See you.